As a pilot, unfortunately things are not always going to go as planned. The other day while I was flying this TBM 850, I lost my pressurization on takeoff and my landing gear wouldn't come down upon landing. I had to declare an emergency and run some checklists. Well today I'm going to show you the procedures I had to go through and then we're going to fly the airplane from Pompano Beach down to Miami Opelaka. So on the flight from Miami Opelaka up to St. Pete Clearwater, I was coming in, on, I was on final approach, I went to go gear down. So I put this handle down and I got a solid red light but nothing was happening with the gear. So I tried putting the gear handle back up and I re-put the gear handle back down and the same exact thing happened once again. Solid red light and nothing was happening with the gear. I then told the tower that I was having issues with my landing gear. They approved for me to do a low approach and as I did that they looked and confirmed my landing gear was not down. So since my landing gear wasn't coming down, I then decided to declare an emergency. I went missed and I accepted radar vectors. I pulled out the emergency checklist, which I always keep right here behind my seat. So with the emergency checklist, I went to 11-2 discrepancy when the landing gear goes down and I started running the checklist. The first step would be landing gear circuit breaker pull. Right down here by my left knee, this is your landing gear circuit breaker. So I pulled that. So coming back down here to the emergency checklist, uh, the red warning light remained fixed on and that's what was going on, so I had to proceed with the following procedures. So the landing gear circuit breaker was pulled, we're going to remove the floor hatch. So down here between the seats, this is the floor hatch, you're going to remove that. And that's going to expose the bypass selector and the landing gear control for manual hand pumping the uh, landing gear down. The bypass selector right here, you're going to make sure that's fully pulled up and locked. So once we make sure we have the landing gear control handle down, you're going to come down here to the hand pump and you're going to start to pump this lever up and down. Thankfully for me, it only took 45 cycles of the uh, hand pump to get the three green. And then after that was accomplished, I was able to go to the second page of the checklist and complete the rest of the items, which you can see right here. While on radar vectors with Tampa Approach, it only took me around four minutes to get out the checklist, run the procedure, and uh, get a good three green. I then informed Tampa Approach that I was ready to come back in for another landing, which they handed me off the tower, and I was able to make a nice smooth landing. I had the uh, equipment standing by with the fire trucks just in case the gear collapsed or anything. I was able to uh, get it back out to the hangar, and the maintenance department came and looked at it at St. Pete. I then had to apply to get a ferry permit to fly the broken airplane back to Pompano Beach which is where the maintenance facility is. It took around 24 hours for that to get approved with the FAA. Uh, different stipulations were involved in flying it back. I had to make sure that, that the landing gear was down the whole time uh, as we would not want to put it up, uh, back up, obviously not being fixed. So it took a few weeks for Dyer to figure out what the issue was. What they found was the left squat switch on the main landing gear was bad, which made the airplane think it was on the ground even though we were up in the air. I'll go ahead and show you right now, real quick, the squat switch. And here it is on the left side. This is what failed, the switch. And that's why the airplane thought it was still on the ground, so it would not pressurize, and also why we had the landing gear malfunction. That little switch. So that's basically how it went. So now today, we're gonna be, during this video, taking the airplane from Pompano Beach, and we're gonna put it back to its uh, home hangar at Miami Opelaka. Welcome aboard the TBM 850 here at Pompano Beach. We'll start this thing up. Clear outside, we got 24 volts on the battery. Fuel boost pump on. Starter is on. Starter light blinking, ignition light illuminated. Looking good. Clear out the front. And the NG is going to stabilize right around 14. Introduce fuel a little idle. We're going to watch for our light off. 
It's a hot day on the ramp, 31 degrees Celsius. Watching that NG for a hung start, ITT for a hot start. What do you guys think that ITT will temp out at today? It's going to be in Celsius, looks like about 731 degrees Celsius. Now it's going to wind back down as the uh, engine gets rotation. Continue to watch that NG for a hung start. It is toasty in here. Can't wait to get that AC fired up. Alright, good start. Step, we'll go over and get the ATIS here at Pompano. Pompano Airport Information Tango 1843, weather 070 at Niner, visibility 10, 1800 scattered, 5000 scattered, temperature 30, 2.21, altitude 300, landing to pretty near craft, expectantly 10, visual approach in use. All aircraft are back to runway, hold short instructions on runway assignments. Advise direction of flight prior to your taxi. Use caution for cranes in the vicinity of the airport. Advise on initial contact you have ATIS Information Tango. All right, we have Information Tango. It was coming a little bit staticky there, but we could hear it good enough. All right, so we'll taxi out of the ramp here at Dyer at Pompano Beach. We're on an uncontrolled movement area right now. So we're free to taxi wherever we want around this area. Clear out the front. Got our taxi light on, and we'll feather the prop twice. Family folks here at Dyer. Yeah, today we're going to fly this airplane back to its home base, Opalaka, after we just had this landing gear issue up at St. Pete. And, you know, got it all fixed up down here. Hopefully everything works as advertised to today. Got to watch our wing over here. there. It's a little tight through here. Number 887 Kilo Juliet, frequency change approved. And we'll feather the prop again here. Look out at the wing out there, you'll see we'll put the flap selected to take off Number position. Juliet selected. Anytime you zero. flip something, you always make sure um, it also indicates. Course, you said you're indicating. The party in the northwest, correct? Uh, we're in the right now, Alpha. Tester flight controls out there. Here was that 279 Charlie Alpha, free and correct. ready to go. So today we're going to go VFR south along the shoreline, low level, enjoy the nice views, and I just hope once we go to land, the landing gear works as it's supposed to. Like I said, it was already test flown in this airplane, so they signed it off, so hopefully it continues to work properly. So we're over at spot 5, we'll give ground a call and let them know we're ready to taxi. Pop no ground over 851 Tango Bravo. Number 851 Tango Bravo, pump to ground. We're over at spot 5 with information Tango, we're just going to be VFR south along the shoreline into Opelaka. Number 851 Tango Bravo, and I, I didn't catch you. Where were you parked at? Uh, we're over at spot 5, 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, 5, 851, number 851 Tango Bravo, we're only 10. Taxi via uh, Mike, cross runway 6 at Mike. Taxi to runway 10, we'll be at Mike, and we're going to cross runway 6 at Mike. 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, so we got our taxi clearance. Number 634 Sierra Juliet, Pompano Tower, Roger, runway 10, clear to land. Yeah, see this is spot 5 right here on that little circle, you'll see that gives us a spot that lets them know right where we're at. And right to the left over here is runway 6. We're clear to cross that, even though we're told we're clear, we'll still check. Clear on final, clear down the runway. Yeah, if you guys like these videos, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Number 722. Also ring that little bell, that'll notify you when I upload a video. Also using the uh, pivot mounting system here today with the iPad mini. Six. Just gave away my iPad Mini 5 in the last video. Uh, if you guys check the description down below, you'll see a discount link. 15% you'll save if you want to set up like this in your airplane. And pretty cool. Look at out in front of us. We've got the Goodyear blimp out here today. Sitting there. Pretty cool to see that. Now, this is the run-up area. And we'll go over to the tower. Pompano Tower, good afternoon. Our A51 Tango Bravo, hold short of 10. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Pompano Tower, Roger, hold short, runway 10. Going short of 10, 851 Tango Bravo. We're better yet, November 1 Tango Bravo, no delay on the roll, there is traffic a mile and a half final, runway 10, turn right on course, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 10, no delay, and we'll be east of and south along the shoreline, 851 Tango Bravo. 
All right, no delay. We got a go. airplane there on short final. Here we go. All lined up. Advance the power. Takeoff power is set. Oil temperature pressure is all good in the green. Short final, runway one zero, cleared to land. Two one zero, cleared to land. I try. Holding the center line with the rudder pedals. And there's a rotation speed. Let's tap the brakes. Gear selected up. And we're just going to make sure it verifies that it's going up. And gear is up. Good. It's a good sign. We're actually going to inhibit our terrain today because we're going to be going low level. That way we won't be getting yelled at by the computer. Verify one thing, no problem. Thanks for a quick roll. Uh, turn southbound and contact Fort Lauderdale Executive on... Uh, Mark, yeah, actually Miami, I guess it would be 119.7. 19.7, no problem. Have a good day, one take a Bravo. You too. All right, 19.7. 3-4 Bravo, turn left hitting 140. Watching the TAS over here, we're clear. Miami, uh, good afternoon, over 85, one tank Bravo. November 888, Charlie Papa, Miami approach, expect the visual approach, runway niner. Information, uh... Now we're gonna pull the power back. Good view over there at the beach. We'll expect uh, Alice for 9, 888, Charlie Papa. All right, last calling Miami first day again. Good afternoon, Miami, November 851 Tango Bravo. Just took off out of Pompano. I'd like to transition south along the shoreline into Opelaka. November 851 Tango Bravo, contact uh, Fort Lauderdale Tower on 120.2. 20.2, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Fort Lauderdale Tower, good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo. November 851 Tango Bravo, Fort Lauderdale Tower, good afternoon. Just took off out of Pompano. I'd like to transition south along the shoreline, level level into Opelaka. No one tango, bravo, roger. Squawk 0157, the altimeter is 3001. 3001, squawk 0157, all right, 51 tango, bravo. All right, there we are, 500 feet. They'll hopefully give us permission here to transition through. And we've not been cleared in yet, so we are going to widen out a little bit here. A lot of freighters out here in front of us, as you can see. TB1 Tango Bravo, you observed as reported. Continue southbound offshore at below 500. Roger. Southbound along the shoreline at or below 500. 851 Tango Bravo, thanks. All right, we have been cleared to Just transition through. Nice job on the roll. Contact Miami Departure. Miami Departure. Yeah, look at all those freighters out there. So One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around ten of them. And we can bring it back in a little bit closer to the shoreline here since we've been cleared through. And we will go over and get the ATIS at uh, Opelaka. We'll monitor both frequencies. Advisory. Clearance deliveries combined with ground control on 120.02. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. Right, Opelaka Tower right. information, Juliet, 1852 Zulu observation. Wind 070 at 10. 10. Down, Juliet. Weather is better than 5005. Temperature 29.1. Uh, Optimeter 300. Expect ILS or visual approach from runway 9 or left. Device runway 9 or left, 1 2 and 9 or right. Notum, utilize caution multiple cranes in the vicinity at or below 250 feet AGL. Taxiway Yankee is closed between yeah, Taxiway Delta the, and Gulf. Six zero six zero X-ray. Only two one zero nine right. Sadly, they're out to service. Clustering six zero six zero X-ray for tower. Clearance is clear. Combined with ground control. One two zero point zero seven. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. All right, we have information, Juliet. We have confirmed our elbow, and we're clear to take off. Ten one zero right. Six zero. Good view of Fort Lauderdale Beach right off our right wing. Bravo, you'll see traffic off your right. Depart on the south side. Eastbound is the Gulf Stream six. Ready to be keeping an eye for traffic. One tango, brother. So we're going to be transitioning right past Fort Lauderdale International Airport right off our right. And we have a Gulf Stream that's going to be taking off and we'll be keeping an eye out for him. Beautiful day to fly. I just hope this gear goes back down when we select it down. Anytime an airplane comes out of a maintenance facility, I always get a little bit more nervous compared to a normal flight. But yeah, the other day when I had that gear failure where it wouldn't come down, uh, you know, my SimCom training came in really handy. I was able to get that emergency checklist out, run it, complete the items, and return for landing. I would say it was within just like about four minutes, four or five minutes, I was able to get it all completed. So your recurrent training does come in really handy when something bad like that happens. And it's really not an issue. You just follow your checklist and hopefully everything works as planned. There's the uh, Gulf Stream rolling down the runway over there. And tower, good afternoon, and November 817. Just rotated. Bravo, tails with you for the ride. 
The next will be coming up on Hollywood Beach. Keeping a good eye out on this task. There's the golf stream that just popped up. I mean, I got this thing almost back to idle. If you like, on course is approved at a below a thousand. Roger, on course at a below a thousand. Eight five one ten, bro. We're just going to hold the shoreline a little bit longer here. Call stream six zero X. And we'll get the tower set up next. That'll be our next frequency. Thanks, six zero X. Hollywood Beach is a really nice beach to go to. A lot of little restaurants. You know, like a little, little boardwalk where people can ride their bicycles and rollerblade. And yeah, I got this airplane basically almost pulled back to flight idle. We're still going 160 knots. I just want to make sure the plane's doing what it's supposed to do today. And next week, we think we'll be going up to Tennessee, Elizabethton. This is pretty cool. Going down past Hollywood Beach here, we're actually lower than some of the buildings on the uh, beach right here. Our Clearing, it's, I'm getting three, all the warnings, uh, just saying, you know, uh, one, terrain ahead, uh, obstacles ahead, but uh, it's no two, issue. One, if I'd have had the, two, it not inhibited, this is what you'd be Caution, three, three, obstacle. Three, three, five, three. Caution, three, obstacle. Bravo, maintain VFR, frequency change is approved. Have a good day. Roger, maintain VFR, frequency change approved. If I want to take a row. Yeah, that's why I inhibit it, so you don't hear all those warnings. And we'll go over to Opelaka Tower. Opelaka Tower, good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opelaka Tower, good afternoon. Oh, we're south along the shoreline, 9 to the northeast, inbound with Juliet. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opelaka Tower, make left traffic, runway 9 left, and report midfield. Roger, left traffic for 9 left, and report midfield, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so we're going to go 100% of the power. We'll start our climb up to 1,000 feet. We're looking good on our traffic, which is always nice because this is a very busy corridor down through here. And we've got the airport over there at our 2-3 o'clock. Now we'll start our turn. On this frequency. Good day. Okay, we're Let's clear of everything over here. With you. Thanks so much. Beautiful view down there. Look at that. We've got pattern altitude. And we're starting our turn for left traffic. Beautiful view down there, the intercoastal. Flying in South Florida is quite a blast. Been doing this my most basically my whole career. And I love it down here. Uh, we have to be very careful because over to the right there's a lot of big towers at our up to our altitude. So we have to keep an eye out for them. And then see so you got the airport out there at our 12 o'clock. So we got to maintain visual from the towers, yeah, nine, nine, and then we're going to maintain whiskey, left traffic Hold for nine left, nine left at Opelaka. We're looking good. We're set up to enter into west. the left downwind for Fly nine left. A little bit bumpier, see, as you can see, as we now have gone over land. Over. ABM 1 Tango Bravo traffic departing nine left straight out is a Cessna. Right, we're keeping an eye for the Cessna, 1 Tango Bravo. So now that we've got over land, you're going to see a little bit how much bumpier it is compared to when we were over the ocean. Over the ocean, there's a lot more even heating of the earth because it's all the same, the water. But when you get over land here, you get the different thermals, and that's when you get the bumps. Hello. Hey, thanks for following along, guys. Got two shots on this short flight so far. Appreciate everybody that follows along. I got the Dolphin Stadium over there, Hard Rock Stadium. It's where the Miami Dolphins play. You'll see off the right wing. They also had a Formula One race there not too long ago, which is really cool. Made a whole track around the stadium. Tower, November 2795 Julia, uh, 11 miles northwest of your location. Now we're going to be coming up on mid with Juliet. field left down one here. One Tango Bravo, can you uh, actually disregard? Number one Tango Bravo, enter a left down one for only one two, extend down one. I do have a uh, Hawker jet on a five and a half mile final for only one two. Roger will enter left Downwind for only one two, no if I want Tango Bravo. Originally we were told to report midfield for nine left, but now we are gonna turn and enter a left downwind for one two. Jet links eighty five. We'll widen out to the right here. Four and a half miles, turning northwest bounds of TBM one thousand. Copy the photo copy the traffic there, this is eighty five. We are short final from one one two. Number 95, Juliet Traffic off your left side, two miles. Just on the skirt area, of North Perry's airspace. Go ahead and contact Opelock Tower one two eight point one two five. Looking good. Contact tower at We're going to switch it up here. And look for that traffic. November 1, Tango Bravo. Previously called traffic 11 o'clock. Correction, 10 to 11 o'clock. Two and a half miles, 1,400. 
Looking for traffic, 851 Tango Bravo. Number one, Tango Bravo. Are you parking a signature? Or, uh... Yeah, you parking signature, is that right? Yeah, you guessed it, signature, we got that traffic and safe. 851 Tango Bravo. Number one, Tango Bravo, pass behind that traffic, runway 9 left, clear to land. Okay, Roger, behind this traffic, we'll clear to land 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. So we have traffic I'm over here, this is Skyhawk, November which is a Hawker. He's coming up a beam at our 9 o'clock right now. Uh, we're cleared to go behind him, and we're back. Off your left side, one going to be landing, clear to land 9 left. Fly southbound, make a straight approach runway 9 right. And, uh, Fly southbound, straight in for Tower control already knew that we go to signature, so that was nice. So we're within our flap speed. Flap selected to take off position. November 6, Whiskey Whiskey, traffic And down. also oh, indicating. Two is a Hawker jet descending out of the All right, guys, hundred. so here we go. Here's the test. We're going to go gear down. Let's see. Do you think it'll come down? Well, let's see. November 6, Whiskey Gear selected down. I copy. 6, Whiskey Whiskey. It's already doing normal six, whiskey, things whiskey, compared whiskey. to when it was, just, uh, let me what know it was doing the other copy, day. Otherwise, I'm going to think you have radio trouble. Down. Three oh, green. Six, that six, is a whiskey, good feeling. Since the last time I did that, Procedure right there. It all went wrong. It was good to have things work right again. And Miami International is out there at our 12 o'clock. And what's crazy is yesterday, an MD-80, I don't know which MD-80 variant it was, they had a uh, crash landing gear yesterday where the landing gear it had issues. How crazy is that? We're talking about landing gear issues today, and an MD-80 crashed landed right there at Miami International yesterday. Thankfully, nobody was severely injured, I believe. Yeah, down three green. Good job, Dyer, on getting that issue fixed. That little pesky left squat switch. Alright, so we're now going to turn base to final here for nine left. Alright, there we are, lined up a little bit fast. I'm going to pull the power back a little bit. We're actually going to take the yaw damper off. So we'll click on the autopilot disconnect button with my left hand. Well, so whiskey, whiskey, you are we didn't even put the autopilot on in this flight. When you're going low level like bit. that, the I like to hand fly. I think it's da too dangerous to uh, west -north put an autopilot on down low like that. A, uh, Anytime I do that, I always hand fly. And it's a little sporty out here with the thermals and the wind today. Wind one zero zero at one zero. That's only ten knot wind. It's just the different thermals today is why it's so bumpy. Yeah, a little yawn around, and usually it will uh, get a little smoother right as you go into the flare above the runway. We're looking good. We're looking good on our speed. Beautiful view out there. All right, so now I'm going to pull the power back gently to flight idle. And we're going to go into the flare. We'll hold it off the runway a little bit, and there we go. Nice smooth landing. Look at all the rotor marks from all the different airplanes that touched down on this runway. I don't know how often they wash a runway or re get all those marks off, but it'd be interesting to know. How often do they clean a runway? TV and one Tango Bravo. If able to turn around another hotel or golf, and then contact ground, have a good day. Hotel and going to ground, 851 Tango Bravo. Enjoy your day. Welcome to Opa Laka, Miami, Florida, guys. So glad the airplane landing gear worked today. That is a relief. Cross the whole short line here. Come to stop, we'll clean up the plane and call ground. Opa Laka ground, good afternoon. I'm a one Tango Bravo, clear nine left on hotel, need to go to signature. Sorry, one five one Tango Bravo block ground. Welcome back. Turn left, November and November six. November, November six into the ramp. Eight five one Tango Bravo. Thanks. Steve O. Hello. All right. So yeah, I am glad to have this airplane back in good condition and working condition. And uh, I'm excited to go back to work. Tennessee should be a lot of fun coming up here. I always like flying up into the Smoky Mountains. If you guys did like that video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I mean, it was fun to have you guys on board today. I wish I would have had the cameras rolling the day that I actually had the emergency, but, you know, I don't film every flight. It would have been a good learning opportunity for me to re-watch that back. That's why I do like watching these videos, is to just to see what I do right and what I could have done better. Every pilot, you're always learning on every flight. So we do have 
Oshkosh Air Adventure coming up here at the end of July. I got a Bose meetup uh, Friday at noon, and also Runway 36 clothing uh, Wednesday at noon. Go to stevo1canevo.com. That's where you'll see the giveaway links and the, uh, my meetup schedule and anything else that I might be have going on. I look forward to meeting up with you guys at Oshkosh this year, Air Adventure up there in Wisconsin, end of July. Should be a lot of fun. And I'm also going to be partnering with Wayman Aviation out of... Uh, North Perry there that we just went by. They have an awesome flight school there. Be sure to click down the description below if you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot. It's a great facility. they got a nice fleet of airplanes and nice buildings and classrooms for you all to learn. And be sure to yeah, check it out. Wayman Aviation. You probably would have seen noticed you guys that have been following this channel for a while. Wayman. That I fly the TBM. Brand, brand new TBMs with once in a while. That's, uh, that's his family. Wayman's a great friend of mine. Alright, we got our marshaller out here in front of us. And I guess we'll be following his hand instructions in. Right there. We're gonna, he's going to have his park front and center. How nice. Anyway, guys, hope you all are doing well, wherever you're watching from. And we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care.